largest cruise ship in the world is about to make its inaugural sailing and Spirit Airlines is back in the news and let's just say Mile High Club. Ooh. Delta is being accused of white racism. It's a sensitive subject we're gonna get into, okay? And the highest number of flight cancellations in the last six months. Let's talk about that. Some tips and tricks on how to avoid that. And Southwest has some good news for us. Let's get into it. Bippity boppity boo, here's your news. Let's do it fast. Icon of the Sea is Royal Caribbean's brand new cruise ship. It is a massive ship. It's so massive, it's the world's largest cruise ship in the world right now. And they're about to break their record with their next cruise ship that's coming in 2025. We won't talk about that right now. Icon of the Sea is down in Port of Miami and it's about to make its inaugural selling. And it's gonna sell out to the Caribbean. So whoever's on that ship is gonna have it a blast. As big as it is, holding up to 6,000 passengers, it is so massive in size that everyone is reporting that you will not even feel that. It's so big. It has so many pools, so many shows, so many eating places that you could spend seven days in there and not even see half of the ship. That's what we're seeing. So I hope you're going to go on that ship this year or next year. Um, it's going to be a blast. It's going to be so good. It's a huge accomplishment for Royal Caribbean. And we're so excited to see such a massive behemoth coming on board. And um, let me know. Comment below if you're going to be on that ship. And if you need to know anything about it, we'd love to tell you some stuff about it. I've been digging in and watching so many videos about it. I'm so excited to get on that ship. It's going to be a blast. The Spirit Airlines is back in the news. Oh my goodness. What is going on with the Spirit of the Skies? I mean, it's crazy. So evidently, this guy who's 47 years old, he asked the lead flight attendant to join the Mile High Club with him. And if you don't know what the Mile High Club is, it means getting jiggy with it in the bathroom, boom, boom, boom. Um, and if you don't know what it is still, <laughs> Google it, because I'm not getting into more details here on this channel. But evidently, too, it got worse. He asked another flight attendant to, go, to join the Mile High Club with him. And I guess he was pretty desperate to do some shigga shigga. And he pulled her into his seat, which, translation into his lap so inappropriate and I guess you my guess is you can already guess my guess is guess and guess 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 is that you know why all this is happening but in addition to this he asked to access the cockpit he was moved to another seat where they could observe him better and he laid on the floor he is now, of course, in federal custody with the FBI and the Homeland Security and is facing up to 20 years in prison for sexual harassment and other viol federal violations on an aircraft. I don't know, that seems a little harsh, but you can guess what happened here. It's alcohol, it's always alcohol. Like why are they serving so much alcohol and no cutoffs on a plane? I have personally witnessed this. I'm sure if you've flown some, you've witnessed this. We just witnessed this on our latest flight on JSX. I did a whole video on that. The guy was trying to smoke. He was talking crazy. I mean, it's just too much drinking. And she kept serving him, even though he had already escalated to crazy. So, it's it's just it's just insane. Spirit Airlines, though, is I've flown them several times. They never fail or disappoint in the drama. You're just gonna get a different crowd on there. And I've had some great flights with them overall. Like I've sat in the big seats up front. I've had great conversations with people, but there's always craziness. I mean, it's just a different rough for crowd. It's kind of like Carnival Cruise Line. You're gonna get that more rambunctious crowd than you do with like Celebrity or Norwegian. By the way, we're going on a Norwegian cruise. My my, on the Prima for the first time and down the Western Caribbean. So I'm going to be bringing that video and some news on that as well here on the channel. So hit that subscribe button. You'll get notified first when we do that. Okay, Delta Airlines. Uh, this is one I'm not sure I should talk about on this channel, but I just think it's in the news. It's travel news and it's definitely something that caught my eye and probably caught your eye. They're being accused of white racism. And a lot of people would say that doesn't exist. That's not a thing. Um, I personally agree that anybody can be racist to anybody. So I think it does, does exist. 
But for a corporation to have their DEI program, diversity, equity, inclusion program, specifically say to capitalize black people, brown people, but not to capitalize white people is a huge problem. But I'll, I, you know, I don't know where you fall on this. I don't want to get too much into the details. I think that these programs sometimes create more racism and more um, division uh, when we should just be like learning to just like act, you know, accordingly. At work, you should be professional, no matter what color, religion, budget, whatever you have. There's just standards, you know, you should follow. So, anyways, I'd love to hear what you think. Comment below. Do it, do it nicely, kindly, because I know it's a sensitive topic. Let's not be mean or rude or jump to conclusions here. But what do you think about this? Is Delta overstepping? Are they losing their minds? Are they going woke? You know, are they are they getting too much into the weeds of this stuff or trying to pander to people too much to to look good? Is it all virtuoso stuff? I'd love to hear what you think, so comment below. The next story is flight cancellations. Oh my goodness, everybody knows the winter weather is here. There's a huge Arctic blast coming over from the from the mid Midwest to the east, and snow and ice and winds and all kinds of stuff. And of course, that always means flight cancellations. And we are at our highest flight cancellation today uh, for the last six months. The last time we were at this height was July of 2023. 2,000 flights and of course this is also coupled in with the grounding of the MAX 737 due to the Alaska Airlines door blowing off. I talked about that yesterday and uh, so if you want to hear about that you can see that video here or at the end and I mean they gave them $1,500, they almost died, you know, <laughs> the whole thing. But if you are caught up in this cancellation, the best thing to do is to make sure you book direct take early flights if you really are need to be there take a day early and get there because of delays and stuff you could get there you know the next day or something so just try to do what you can to not do a connection that is my biggest tip to you here i've got a ton of tips on this channel if you want more but i, I just want to help you guys out and i'm praying for you guys to be safe to be warm if you don't have to fly don't fly right now it's crazy especially if you're in the midwest and in the north um it's just it's just crazy all right, let's talk about Southwest. Southwest is doing something good and something bad. So let's chat about that for a second. They are finally bringing, which is crazy to even say this in 2024, but they are finally bringing in-seat power into the back seats of their planes. 17 aircrafts have them today. They're getting them on the new Max Boeing. Uh, and uh, they're retrofitting all their other planes. Um, every month they're ramping up. So by mid-year, they're hoping to have most planes fitted with a USB-A and a USB-C at every seat. This is pretty big because, you know, on all my videos, uh, on my airline tip videos, I'm always saying take a little portable charger. The Away Travel, which used to have a power bank, now July uh, travel July luggage has the power bank in it, but you get luggage with the power bank. Take a portable power bank. Your power runs out. You need to you watch stuff. You need to listen to stuff. You might want to surf the Wi-Fi. All those things take power from you, and you need it, especially when you get off the plane. You need to order your Uber, to call your family, friends, whatever. All those things, right? We need our phones powered up. So bringing this power to the seat is a pretty big deal. It's going to help a lot of people to know that they can keep that power, watch their shows, listen to their podcasts or audiobooks, whatever, and even shop and read their news, read their emails, all that good stuff. And to that end, uh, you know that Southwest has upped their charges on Wi-Fi when most people are bringing them down. So they used to charge $8 per 24 hours. Now they charge $8 per leg. So if you are flying... With a connection, you're going to pay sixteen dollars that day for a flight, if you have two, you know, two two legs. And but the good news here is they are spending money and they're upgrading all their equipment on their airlines to the latest greatest Wi-Fi equipment. It's going to be ten times up to ten times faster. So that's a pretty big plus. Delta's still the winner here. They almost have all airlines across the globe with free Wi-Fi and it's pretty fast Wi-Fi um, I'll have to check but I think it's Starlink Royal Caribbean and the cruise industry is leading this as well they're not cheap 
but they are using Starlink, um, Elon Musk's uh, Star Space, Star SpaceX, or whatever uh, uh, internet technology that's from the satellites, and it's super fast, super reliable, super awesome. Um, you can watch Netflix and all this stuff that you normally you pay a bunch of money on a cruise ship for for internet, and you get like like dial-up speeds you know you can barely do anything so it's a revolutionary thing that they're doing and i'm hoping that carnival norwegian a celebrity all the other ships uh, sun princess msc adopt this starlink uh program and get that equipment on board as quick as possible it would be awesome to see that happening because people today need their internet even if you're at the pool or you're laying in your bed on your balcony or something on the cruise ship you want to better like upload your internet surf the web check your email do the things you know do the things do the things we do so i hope this was um, I hope this was informative to you. I really appreciate you joining me today. I hope this helped you out. I love seeing your beautiful faces, and I will catch you in the next Zachus Travel video. Peace. Check out this new video. Yeah, this baby said that they don't got a future. Future like that. It burns. So give him something worse to kill his head with. Make him forget somehow.